Really? Your daughter comes home and she's pregnant. Took you a while to figure it out because she wasn't being honest with you. And the reason she wasn't being honest with you is because there was a lot more to the story than the fact that she just is pregnant. She also went to a party and she got raped. And she doesn't know whether or not the child is from the rape or from the boyfriend before the party, which she broke off with just a day or two before the party, or if it was from the boyfriend that she just started to date after the party. There's three possible fathers, and she's terrified, and the story is coming out in little bits and pieces. I can tell you it's probably one of the toughest times in my life. Not the, not the toughest, but one of the toughest. It's probably a good thing we got the story bit by bit. Because I was even having a hard time digesting all of this information and trying to figure out what was my best course of action to help my daughter. Because I didn't know the full story, of course I believe she was right, but I wasn't sure about all the rest of it. Long story short, my grandson is the byproduct of a very unfortunate situation. He is not the byproduct of either one of the boyfriends, but he is one of the most adorable children on the face of the planet, and my daughter loves him with all of her heart. She has her days where she struggles, but not because of where he came from. But what I'd like to encourage you with today is that if you're going through this, and yes, it's tough, but you are going to get through it. There's a couple of things you have to keep in mind. Number one, you have to remember that your daughter didn't go about doing this on purpose. My daughter actually went with some of her friends who ended up getting an abortion. And because of a moral code we had in our family, she struggled with that. But she decided for herself that abortion was not the right choice. And I'm very proud of her for that. But I still wouldn't have thought any less of her if she decided to have an abortion. I would have just been very sad for both her and the child. We all make mistakes in our life, and that's the one thing we have to remember. She made a mistake by going to a party that she shouldn't have been at, where she didn't know anybody there. That was her only mistake. She still didn't deserve to be raped, but she chose to keep that child. And that child has been a huge blessing in her life in many ways. If you're going through this right now, uh, any of this, uh, rape, uh, teenage pregnancies, um, a daughter who's being very sexually promiscuous, no, you're not going through it alone. There's a lot of us that have gone through that. If you actually personally want to speak to me, don't post something on Facebook because I might not see that. Come on over to the YouTube channel or to the, to the blog and check that out. The links will be down below. And I'd be more than happy to listen to you, give advice, whatever it is that you need from me. Because sometimes when you're going through something like this, all you need is to know that somebody else has gone through it too. So today that's what this post is all about. Don't give up on your child. I know you're not going to. Love her with all your heart and help her with the decisions that she's making. She's having a very tough time right now. And we want to wish you an awesome day.